corners safely, even with standing water and blue basalt. With its future-oriented innovations, Bosch has set the standards for vehicle safety. These include the anti-lock braking system, ABS, and the traction control system, TCS. A further milestone in these developments is the Electronic Stability Program, ESP. Both the anti-lock braking system, ABS, and the traction control system, TCS, are an integral part of the ESP. ABS prevents wheel lockup when the brakes are applied. Without ABS, it's impossible to brake and steer at the same time. TCS prevents the wheels from spinning when driving over a slippery surface. With the TCS switched off, it's impossible for the engine traction power to be transmitted from the wheels to the road surface. The wheels spin and the vehicle rolls backwards down the hill instead of moving up. If a vehicle is driven into a curve too quickly, it goes out of control. The lateral forces thrust the vehicle out of the curve, and as it breaks away, the vehicle goes into a skid due to the rotary forces around the vertical axis. The Electronic Stability Program, ESP, counteracts these forces. By selectively applying a braking pulse at individual wheels, it diminishes the rotary forces around the vehicle's vertical axis. This stabilizes the vehicle, and the driver remains in full control. A further example, in cases of oversteering, the rear of the vehicle breaks away. A brief braking pulse at the front wheel brings the vehicle back onto the course selected by the driver. If the vehicle suddenly understeers, it is thrust toward the outside of the curve. A selective braking pulse at the rear wheel brings the vehicle back onto the ideal track. Around 28% of all accidents are due to the driver losing control of the vehicle. ESP corrects such driver errors. A slight input at the steering wheel suffices to bring the vehicle back on track. Even at the limits of control, when the situation appears to be hopeless, ESP comes to your assistance. In case of sudden evasive action, only the red ESP-equipped car remains controllable. And when a small child suddenly runs out into the road in front of you, here symbolized by a cube, ESP comes into effect and you remain in control. The braking pulses from ESP can be seen quite clearly. The vehicle remains stable. Vehicles not equipped with ESP quickly get into trouble when the road is covered with wet leaves. At such critical moments, thanks to ESP, you can count on the highest levels of safety. ESP intervenes far faster than the most experienced driver can possibly do. The brief braking pulse at the front wheel can be seen here. Another example with ESP switched off. The vehicle is being driven too fast for this curve. The rotary force is pushing this front wheel drive vehicle out toward the outside of the curve, even though the driver is taking corrective action with the steering wheel. The vehicle understeers and moves straight ahead. This time with ESP in operation at the same speed and the same curve. ESP applies a brief braking impulse at the inside rear wheel to counteract the effects of the rotary force around the vehicle's vertical axis and guides the vehicle safely through the curve. Trials on ice and snow. In a vehicle without ESP, the driver hasn't the slightest chance when trying to take evasive action. On the other hand, the ESP-equipped vehicle remains safely on track. In terms of everyday practice, this means sudden unplanned action on a slippery road, perhaps as far as the wall of snow, a minor movement at the steering wheel, and the vehicle returns safely to the road. Braking, steering, evading an obstacle. With ESP, a large proportion of road accidents can be avoided. To sum up, ESP cannot outwit the basic laws of physics, nor can it make up for lack of responsibility and foresight behind the wheel. But when the driver gets into critical situations, ESP ensures the best possible vehicle response so that he or she can rely on a maximum of safety. <laughs>